welcome you all to my channel <laughs> is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot so earlier on i made a video on female size charts and you guys really love the video and you requested for a comprehensive video now this video is in form of a series because this is the best way i can put up this video so the first part of this video we talked about uh, shoulder measurements bust measurements waist measurements and our hip measurements if you haven't watched the previous part of this video which is like the part one of this series for the female size charts please go ahead and watch that video and i'm also going to put the link somewhere on the screen and also in the description box below so once you are done watching this video please go ahead check out the description box so that you'll be able to watch the previous video and come back and watch this second video because in that previous video we talked about the bust measurements the waist measurement the hip and your shoulder measurement so now for this part now which is going to be the part b of this series this series is going to be very comprehensive please go ahead and follow up so that at the end of the day you guys will basically i think with this series i basically answered like every of your questions you guys asked me in the previous video that i made earlier on so now we have our arm hole measurements we have our bust our waist to hip bust to waist and our darts so in order for you to even know the arm or what is the ammo of the bust measurements we are dealing with you need to watch that previous video so you can know that okay for bust measurement of size 4 is 34 inches so for a bust of 34 the arm hole should be do you guys get it so this is what i have basically i'm going to say that please go ahead and join me on facebook tg designs on instagram tg designs tg designs and the link is going to be in the description box below and i have amazing sewing tutorial on facebook which you guys are really going to love if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please go ahead and put your questions in the comment section and don't forget to patronize us so we have comprehensive size charts which is available so in this comprehensive size charts it also includes like all the size measurements you need to make a female's gown including your trousers your tie measurements your round sleeve it is so comprehensive guys all the measurements you need is in the comprehensive size chart which is available the comprehensive size chart is actually very detailed we have your tie measurements your round sleeve all the measurements you need for a female trousers your female top your female gown nipple to nipple everything is included in the size chart and i'm also running discounts also please go ahead and check out the description box for the link and place your order as soon as possible and let me tell you guys something one essence or one reason why you should have a comprehensive size chart is because you need to step up your fashion game you need to be able to get to the point whereby you are not taking measurement directly on your clients so for some women we are not really comfortable when you are touching a lot of parts because you want to actually get my measurements i feel like all you need to make a dress or even a trousers is basically the size of your client so what size are you i'm a size 8 i'm a size 10 you know what to use for the nipple to nipple you know what to use for your shoulder you know what to use for your tie you know what to use for your waist all these are in the comprehensive size chart which is also available right like i said earlier it's available the link is in the description box so let's go ahead now and calculate all this there's no calculation basically <laughs> so let's go ahead now and dive into this so now our arm own I'm going to say that I know that some people measure arm o. For me personally, I don't measure my arm o. And if you are part of those that measure their arm o, let me ask you a question. So, what if your client doesn't stay in the same city or in the same state as you are? The question is, how will you get the arm o measurements? Come on, you don't want to be measuring everywhere. Get your size chart, okay? Okay. <laughs> So now, our arm O measurements. Our arm O measurements for a size 4, we have 8 inches. Our arm O measurement for a size 4, we have 8. For size 6, we have 8 inches. Our arm O for size 9, we have, for size 10 rather, 
for size 8 we have 9 inches for size 8 we have 9 inches for size 10 we have 9.5 inches for size 12 we have 10 inches for size 14 we have 10 inches for size 16 we have 10 inches we have 10 inches for size 20 we have 10 inches for size 24 we have 10.25 we have 10.25 and for size 24 we have 10.15 so basically basically the reason why we don't really have so much difference when it comes to arm o is because you know arm Oh, it's basically like this part of your dress so it's usually like the same measurement actually it depends on the size you fall into so this is basically what we have for the arm o measurement now the next thing we are going to have now is our bust to waist so what's the resistance from your bust to waist how will you know where to mark your bust measurement okay you've gone ahead now to know your arm o how will you know where to mark your bust measurement how do you know where to mark your waist measurement you know so if you are left with a plain fabric how will you know where to take your measurements and it's actually very essential for you to place your measurements at the exact point this also adds to the beauty of your dress so if your bust measurement is not sitting on the bust the fitting might be summer summer you get what i'm trying to say so you need to know where to actually place your measurements so the distance from your bust down to your waist we have eight inches for size four we have eight inches for size six we also have eight inches for size eight we have eight inches for size ten we have nine size ten we have nine for size 12 we have 9 inches for size 14 we have 9 inches for size 16 we have 9 inches for size 18 we have 9 inches for size 20 we have 9.5 for size 22 we have 9.5 for size 24 we have 9.5 inches i'm also going to explain why you know for some parts of this measurement they are basically like the same thing so let me go ahead and you know explain the waist to hip and then i'll show you guys why the measurement seems like is in a group so you basically have like eight inches nine inches ten inches and also you can see that we repeated a lot of numbers also so now the next one you need now is your waist to your hip and most times for most women the hip is usually like the largest part of their body you know so now waist to hip what do you have for your waist to hip for size four waist to hip you have eight inches size four you have eight inches size six you have eight inches size eight eight inches size ten eight inches now for size 12 for size 12 you have nine size 14 nine size 16 nine size 18 nine now for size 20 you have 9.5 size 22 9.5 size 24 9.5 inches like i said you can also see that even in the waist to hip the measurements are also repeated they are also actually like the same for about two or three sizes now the next one we have is our dart measurement now your dart measurement is going to determine or is going to be determined by your bust measurement so your bust measurement is what will enable you know your dart measurement and like i said in the first series of this video i explained the bust measurement waist measurement hip measurement and shoulder measurement which is why that is the first part of this video and the link is going to be in the description box below so this is the second part we are talking about the arm o the bust to waist waist to hip and the dart measurement so for the dart now you are going to basically you know have your dart measurement so let's go ahead now and have our dart so we have 8 inches for size 4, for size 6 we have 8, for size 8 we also have 8. 
So for size 8, we also have 8. Gay gay. <laughs> we have 8. Now for size 10, we have 9. For size 10, we have 9. For size 12, we have 9. For size 12, we have 9. For size 14, we have 9. For size 16, we also have 9. For size 18, we have 9. For size 20, we have 9.5. For size 22, 9.5. For size 24, 9.5 inches. 5 inches. So this is also a US size and it is in inches. So what we are doing is basically in inches. That is what we are using. So now the reason why this part of this um size chart has repeated numbers on like your bust measurements, your waist measurements and your hip measurements where the measurements are actually different is because your measurements basically are grouped into different sections. So there are people who say I'm on a small size, I'm on a medium size, I'm on a large size and extra large size. So when you group it, all the measurements that falls under that group are basically going to have the same measurements for your arm o, your bust to waist, your waist to hip and your dart. That is why when you are making dresses like your ready to wear dresses, they will ask you for your size. Are you a small? Are you under medium? Are you under large? Are you under extra large or extra extra large so now if you want to group this from size 4 to size 6 to size 8 this part this way we have our small we have our small our small now from size 10 to size 14 we have our medium you know, we have our medium, this is our small, this is medium, you know. Now, here we have large. We have from size 20 to 22, we have extra large, 24, extra, extra large. So, by the time your measurements are grouped into, this size 4 is extra small. Okay, some people call it extra small or just say small it all depends for your size for you can either make it of extra small or small but if your size 4 is extra small your size 6 and size 8 is small then size 10 12 14 and medium size 16 18 large 20 22 extra large 24 extra extra large now this is the first way to group your sizes and this is the first thing to group your sizes right and you also discover that from this grouping the measurement basically falls the same so for those for the measurements under our small you will see that we have 8 8 inches we also have 8 8 inches and we have 8 8 inches now for the medium we both have the same 9 9 inches 9 9 inches 9 9 inches except for the waist measurement of one part of it now for the large you will discover that they are both 10 10 9 9 9 9.99. Now for extra large, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5. Now I'm also going to say that when you are making dresses, especially dresses or fabrics that are stretching, when you are making dresses that are stretching and you are making of size charts, paraventure you want to go into ready to wear and you want to deal with fabrics that are stretchy and you are making use of your size chart it's necessary that you step up your measurement by one so what i mean by that is this what i mean by that is this i am a size six but if i am going for a stretchy fabric i will go for a size four why because the fabric is stretchy so when you are making outfits with a stretchy fabric please go ahead and step your measurement by one so when you step your measurement by one because your step your measurement by one because your fabric is stretchy it will automatically stretch and still fit into the exact measurements of your client and thereby giving it a very nice fitting that you guys know now it's going to bring out the curves of the beauty <laughs> and I'm also going to say that in this video please be proud 
of your body shape regardless of what your shape looks like whether you are small you are extra small you are large you are extra extra large be proud of your body you are beautiful you are wonderful your body is perfect the gifts God has given you which is your body is perfect you know don't be body shamed don't be discouraged about how you look or how you feel or how your body shape is be proud and rock it the best way you can because you are unique you are beautiful and you have a very nice physique so i hope this word of encouragement actually encourages someone who feels a little bit down about how a body looks so regardless of how big your tummy is regardless of how big or small your bust is regardless of how big or small your hip is you are beautifully and wonderfully made and you are beautiful and unique so just a piece of encouragement out there so now this is basically what it looks like when you've grouped your measurements and you have the previous measurements on the bust waist hip and and shoulder measurements you have a very detailed one like i will say the comprehensive size chart just imagine if this is a little bit of the size chart how would the comprehensive size chart look like can you even imagine what i have with that size chart if this is just a little bit of it i'm not going to talk so much about the size chart for you to get your size chart i'm going to put the link in the description box below please go ahead and place your order i am running 10 percent discount on every order please go ahead and purchase your size chart it is actually very comprehensive and that is what you need in the fashion industry to step up your game i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe this is the second series of this video i'm going to go ahead and create the third series of this video and we also have the fourth series of this video because combining the whole video at once might be too large and people might not want to watch it so that is the reason why i feel like i need to break it down so that you guys will be able to understand it better on that note if you also have any question please go ahead and put down your question in the comment section and don't forget to check out the link in the description box to grab a copy of your comprehensive size chart i love you and you're beautiful bye <laughs>